Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be finishing Season 2 of Overlord, reacting to the final three episodes of Overlord Season 2. Uh, looking forward to this, uh, a little, little less, a little lighter on the Overlord. The last two sets were really big, we did 5 and 5, and now we have 3. And then, uh, like I said, like I said, from here they're going to kind of be on the lighter side. I know we're going to cover Season 3 at a sh slower pace, at least as far as videos go. Uh, hopefully pretty consistent. I do have a trip coming up pretty soon, but like I said, I'm I, I'm feeling like there's a good chance I'm going to have a lot of recording time on this trip, so I think, which I usually never would, but given the circumstances of this trip, and like, th it, this is like a very special case where it's probably the only case in the foreseeable future where I'll be able to record without issue because I'm going to be in a location that isn't like a hotel or motel or anything and there's not going to be a ton of people around either a lot of when when I'm not doing the stuff that I'm down there for so I'm going to be able to uh actually keep things going as usual and finally get like a really cool channel related use out of my laptop which is great because I've had that for a little while now and haven't done much with it so that's cool uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. That should hopefully, if everything goes well, I should be able to record like that, and that should be fantastic. But I'm really excited for uh, this set. I thought last set was very interesting. I thought the Sebus arc was really cool. I thought the kind of ending episode that we had at the end of the set was probably my favorite episode. In fact, I'm not even going to say probably. It was my favorite episode of Overlord up to this point. And I thought it was, honestly, it hit a pretty high standard. I thought the uh, the the whole conversation uh, with Sebus and that whole thing was done really excellently. I thought the, 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 the fucking crazy bitch uh, shit was really good, too. And it was interesting to see kind of, you know, Renner and her whole deal and that stuff. It said the Sebus stuff was fantastic, and... The ending scene uh, was clarified by the fans. I actually th think it's a lot less interesting than my headcanon uh, made it, but uh, people were people did explain to me that it was uh, she despises Einzul Gon, as in th that being the name of her precious Momonga, because obviously Einzul Gon is a reference to the, 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 the guild itself and all of the great beings when her love and devotion and dedication and the other words that I'm not going to say for Momonga are so strong that she doesn't like the idea of, of the one above all uh, referring to himself as a reference to all of the, you know, the great ones, right? The, the, the guild members as opposed to just himself because he's perfect the way he is. And so, yeah, in other words, th that scene was like nothing but just Albedo being Albedo. <laughs> when I actually thought that it was an interesting kind of pseudo... I don't even want to say character development. That's really not what I even saw it as. But more her kind of having almost more of a love for the idea of her master as opposed to her master her itself, which is not what they were necessarily going for. Um, but, I mean, we'll see if anything comes from that front. But given the clarification that I was given, I thought that scene was kind of weird in hindsight because it ended the episode in a very dramatic feeling way that with that clarification, I'm not necessarily sure was all that dramatic. So, there is that. Of course, we know that Eins was busy, and we have no fucking, you know, he's busy with whatever the fuck he's dealing with, and of course, you know, um, Albedo did as ordered by Eins to send Demiurge to fuck that shit up, and the Eight Fingers are gonna get dicked, uh, with Demiurge at the helm, and I'm excited for Demiurge stuff, because you know he's one of my favorites, of the Tomb of Nazarek, and I'm definitely really curious about how this is all going to play in together, because we do have a couple, like, I don't want to say interwoven plot threads, but Season 2 has felt fairly coherent. I also have a pen that, like, works, or it should. It's a brand new pen. It's, uh, I have not even tried it yet, but, uh, it's, you know, it's a pen. Uh, I decided, I, I have 
quite a few pens, but I'm actually decided to pull out a good pen. Not not the best pen I have or anything, but you know, it's blue. Figured I'd change it up. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited for how this is going to go. And I'm very curious as to what we're going to get out of this whole uh, final three episodes of season two and where season two is going to le end off because I don't feel that we're going to like wrap up some of these plot lines. I definitely think some of these plot lines are like, I guess like, like again, eight fingers getting fucked is probably the main thing we're going to be focusing on the next three episodes, potentially learning whatever the hell Eins is uh, dealing with, you know, that type of stuff and just see how it all flows together. I guess I I'm struggling to properly uh, articulate myself. It's my first video of the night here. I'm going to be recording this, the inside job finale. God only knows what else. Hopefully a lot of fucking shit. Uh, and this is just the first video of the night, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting in the rhythm, I guess, but, but, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I spent a little too much time talking about nothing, but, yeah, the point is, is that I thought the last set was very interesting, and I thought it ended with my favorite episode, uh, even if I kind of slightly misread Jal, Jal the Balth? What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, uh, uh th that's the title of Overlord. Season 2, episode 11, I have no fucking clue what that means. Uh, and if that if that's a thing that's been referenced, I absolutely do not remember it. So, that's lovely. Anyways, let's jump into season 2, episode 11 of Overlord in 3, 2, 1, and... I will have play. to offer my gratitude to Lord right Back to Demiurge. I did not expect this level of support from the tomb. Yes, command of this operation will fall to me. If you have any objection to the Supreme One's decision, voice it now, please. No, of course not. Then I hope you're not under any mistaken impression. Of course not, yeah. We've assembled to cull Eight Fingers from existence. They've spit in the collective faces of the Supreme Ones with their brazen actions and must be dealt with accordingly. I understand perfectly. Rescuing Tuari is insignificant next to avenging Ein Zulgon. Now that that's clear, please know that I also hope for Tuari. Yeah, yeah. Time. Should we the can thing perish, I doubt her body could be Yeah, we can save your girl. How kind of you to say so. Do have wow. a plan for finding eight fingers. That's that's no sussy. I plan. love how Demiur is just like saying that information on seven of their bases. In like a way where he's semi Sorry, Sevis. He's semi sincere. Plan, but you can never truly tell certain components. Once Tuari is safe, you will return with her to Nazarik and leave the rest to us. I understand. Mm. Solution. Back up seven. I like it. Being. Very well, Lord Demiurge. All right. What I'm about to tell you is a matter of... I mean, Solution's been working with her the whole time anyways. Acknowledged. Killing this person is strictly forbidden. Understood, Shaltir. Oh, ha ha! Poke fun at the vampire, why don't you, jerk? What is it, Shadow Demon? Wow. Wow. Excellent. It appears we now have one more Eight Fingers base to attack the tonight. Fuck? Mare, you and Intima will focus on the new location. The fuck? Okay, I'll do my best not to disappoint All right. you. Mare and Intima, so we're teaming up the tiny people. Use this mission Although I guess there's a few tiny people. There's also Shaltir and Aura. Failure is forbidden. Although Aura's not See there. Provide results actually, that wipe the slate clean of any mistakes. I saw Mare and just assumed. So, uh, what about me? Sorry. Sounds like a plan. To stand down. I'm concerned you'll lose yourself to your blood friends. Damn! What the you fuck? Know what? I am not even mad about it. Not one little bit. <laughs> now then. Aw, soon soon. It's a test. Dude, my so guy. Don't pay attention. Plan Gohanna, huh? Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm hyped for Demiurge. Fucking get, give us a little bit of fucking Lelouch action from Demiurge. I'm down for that shit. Overlord 2. And, uh... I probably won't skip the OP at all in this episode. Like I said, we're just gonna play everything, especially since we really haven't had much experience with the ED, so you get it. This 
SLP reminds me... I don't know what it reminds me of. I feel like it's mimicking a... a, a I don't know. It definitely come, comes off like an anime opening, though. <laughs> I'm still not a huge fan of it. It's grown on me a bit, like they all do, but... This one didn't become, like, a favorite of mine by any stretch. I definitely think that the first one was a lot better. Platanoia did grow on me. Go cry go. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I have no idea what that word's supposed to mean. Jaldabalf? I'm probably not even sure pronouncing it right. It does mean a lot since Renair gave it to me, but it just stands out too much. However, it's virtually silent, so I think it's perfect for infiltrating. All captains gather round. We're going to go over the plan. Hmm. Sounds like a right. plan. This <laughs> goal is to raid My eight guy. in eight fingers possession and take he's control. excited to work with his so boy. We only have seven squads. Once we've taken little control do you know of our assigned buildings, everyone there's... here will head for the last location, so don't dawdle. In other words, it's first come, first served. I'm sure you're all aware of our enemy's overwhelming strength. Don't Essentially, yes. The squads look fairly confident. Oh, if only Even you the men, knew. They're a full group of former Orichalcum class adventurers. Name's Lockmire. Nice to meet you. Nice. Hey, Virgin. Pretty cool shit. Miss Gagarin. Something wrong? What the Tell fuck? Me, kid. Thought you might be nervous. Figured a playful pat on your tight little tushy would loosen you up. You must be Brain Ungla. What the fuck? I guess you'll do. I'm glad I passed the test. Yeah, that's Brain. She was measuring me up, trying to figure out whether I was a warrior she can entrust with you or not. Is that true, Gagarin? Absolutely not! Brain kind of reminds me I of... I lose any sleep over it. But with him there, things will be easier. I wouldn't be so certain of that. There are monsters in this world you couldn't even fathom. Mm. Huh. So you're the Brain kind of reminds me a little bit of, for any like of my uh, people that have watched Fairy Tale, of, um... I think I'll pass. Oh god, sure why... You're probably right. Yeah, That's please pass. Watch yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's a Jesus nice Christ. Lady. Um, why the fuck can't I remember his name? What the fuck? It's like an important nope. character. Time to get going. Right. What the fuck? I've... Dude, holy shit, I've like totally forgotten the name of this like Wait, one of the no, cooler I'm characters in Fairy Tale. What the fuck? So jumpy. You'd think having watched it for half a decade, I'd remember it. it I'd remember some things better. Christ. Christ. In a prison cell. And about Jesus five Christ. people who look like they fit the description of six arms members. Five of them? I'm just stirring right, right us, now, that's it all. might be a good thing. If six arms is gathered here, then the other location should fall without much of an effort on our part. What are we gonna do? It's gonna be impossible to take this place without significant force. Let's fall back. Fine with me. Let's. Mm. Uh... No way. Oh, there's Sebus. What a yep. coincidence! Running yep. into you here of all. Yep, places. he's just gonna be like. Lord Sebus, what are you doing around here at this hour? As it happens, the woman I mentioned rescuing has been taken by eight fingers. I was instructed to meet them at this location. Then she must be. Can you tell me more about the woman you saw in the prison cell? Hmm. That's yeah. good to know. Having most of Six Arms here will make my job a fair bit easier. Does that mean you're willing to help six us? Six Arms? I Why did I say eight ask, arms? I really need you. I'd be happy to. Wait. Even Shit, now, here, now I'm mixing up myself. Changed. What the fuck? I will do Isn't it eight? Six Arms members Isn't it eight you fingers? Cover. You have our thanks, Lord Sebus. I will go in through the what front the fuck? entrance. Bro, well, I, like I am like tripping today. I'm actually tripping balls. I'm not remember my can count on it. brain is not working. Without stealth do. If it's just the three of us, our magic casters should be able to make us invisible long enough to get past the front. I was more concerned with the others. Their armor is so noisy they couldn't sneak past the dead. I swear, we'll bring Tuare back safely. I would be <laughs> much obliged, Clive. Fair enough. Trust me, Sebus cares about Tuare a great deal, so. 
Bro, Sebus out here is about to be a fucking badass. What the fuck? The main event. Better put up a good fight. Aren't there supposed to be five of you left? It, bro, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Though I didn't think the one who beat Succulent would be someone of your age. That just proves he's worthless. Not only did he Damn. fail, he failed in front of Coco, yep. the client. Oh, you idiots. Okay, six arms is these fucks. Okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, of course. Either way, this imprudent butler had the audacity to start all this trouble, so he will die first. Look up there. Yep. Oh my god, I want to see Sebus kill all these guys. I would die of laughter. Entertainment with that dinner. We'll torture you for a while, then finish you off just in time for dessert. Is that Zero fellow watching from there as well? Why, yes he is in fact. What was that about, old man? Trying to challenge our leader? I have no mind. Where is she? What have you done with young Tuare? What if I said she was dead? From what I've seen, I doubt you would be that kind. <laughs> Got me there. Even in life, I love wow. mercy. Lucky for her, she's <laughs> meant to be a gift Fair from Coco Doll. She's safely secure until then. Dude, I hey, Redhead's got a nice ass, though, I'm not gonna lie. Attack me all at once and you might last ten seconds. You're either insane or have a death wish, human. He's probably <laughs> met someone who was truly strong before. Either Answer way, number I'm three. Answer fucking number three, you idiots. Of a bro, kids. bro, why does this guy of such a fucking scimitar. bro thinks I he's <laughs> literally? We're learning your names just for you guys to get fucked in the ass. Undead king. Is that so, you poor fool? That title is far beyond your reach. <laughs> Sevis was fucking offended by that! There's only one person who can claim to be the ruler of death, and you couldn't fathom his power. You deserved far worse than a quick death for your arrogance. Yep. Did you manage to find Zero Solution? He doesn't ah, to be here, my lord. <laughs> then I have another ten seconds to spare. Ah! Here it is. Holy shit, Sevis! No wonder I didn't bother to remember their names. Are you Tuare? Oh god. Is this a trap? Or was that actually her? Hello? Titty? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, little girl. Oh, that's horrifying. Or boy? Not a girl. What brings you here at this hour? Wow, you noticed pretty fast. I'm trying to find the most important person in the mansion. Is that you, lady? No, I actually. Yes, I am. Now, could you tell me how you got in? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I screwed up. Fucking Mara and Entomara, weird combo. Nothing beats well muscle Too much cutesiness. Hey you, what kind of meat makes well muscled like man meat? Human, down to the bone. How oh, interesting! I didn't think. Oh God, are you about to die? Around. This will be fun. Actually, could we pretend like we never saw each other? I'm in a hurry. No can do. I'm one of the top adventurers in the kingdom. I can't catch a man-eating monster in the act and just let it go. Wow. Sorry, creepy. This is so much trouble. Still, you're strong. Maybe I'll preserve you for a midnight snack. 
<laughs> well, this isn't good. Yeah, this isn't good. Oh my god, Intima. You dare to swell the Oh, uh, did that piss her off? Yeah, this isn't good. Hard on the bug. I'm an Intelmancer, see? I summon all kinds of fun little insects, like this one. Blade bug! Blade bug, huh? What is this fucking Yu-Gi-Oh? I really didn't want to, just so you It's know. a fucking uh, chainsaw insect coming next. Jesus! Jesus! Bring it on! She's not dead yet. But that's the thing, like we all know Intima wins this fight if it keeps going. Okay, 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 nice dodge! Uh, okay, that makes sense. What a surprise. Of course it does. What did you expect? I just thought it would be blue by now. Like some kind of cool power-up. It could happen. I didn't change races. What the fuck? Right, then a class what the fuck? Are you Fucking done dumbass. Time? Spider talisman! Seriously. Shadow clo technique. Oh, it's like like a summoning technique. Hard bullet bugs! Well that's literally just Naruto. I mean I know I mean I know it's like ninja shit, but still like in, in Weeb Land, everyone's gonna think Naruto. Okay. Okay, two on one, this is a little closer. Still not gonna beat Entima, but. Something else, but I can't put my finger on it. This is bad. I don't think we have the slightest chance of winning. Yeah, it's something worse. Come on, it's your turn. Oopsie. I what the actual earlier, fuck? Again. Are you drooling? These two morsels oh, should really hit the spot. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's terrifying. What the fuck? Uh. Uh. I can't stand things. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Well, at least she didn't get knocked out. Okay, there's the Shadow Clones. Well, so much for that. So I assume that's the clone. Or maybe that is the real her. Oh, Jesus. Christ! I had planned to eat you first, but she looks tasty on top of filling, so I guess I'll spoil myself just this way. Don't get any closer to her. Who are okay. You? Back at you. Oh is shit! A monster in a maid uniform, some kind of sick joke. I can't imagine anyone would be happy with something like you attending to them. You smell of blood and cockroaches. What did oh, you say? Oh, you never met. You've never met Eines. Good grief! Oh, Atlas. what the fuck? You need to size up your opponent next time. This one is stronger so than So how you. strong is that evil eye? I'm stronger than her. You picked on the wrong girl's warm breath. Time to Are you sure me. about that? No one would be happy to help me attend to them. How dare you? None of you will leave here alive! <laughs> what a foolish attack. Yeah, yeah, we that the we honor of mate because that's assaulting a maid's honor. You're in the way. Heal Tia's wounds or something. Oh, now, now you really got Entima going. In that case, Vermin Bane! Oh, okay, she's got basically bug spray! She fucking hit her with the bug spray! <laughs> vermin Bane, huh? Magic, a spell of my own design. I call it Vermin Bane. Interesting. Interesting! Oh god, what's- oh, that- that's not her face. Oh god, what the fuck? A bug? 
It devours the vocal cords of its human victims and perfectly imitates their voice. How dare you? How dare Interesting. you? Interesting! Oh, a lot more endearing that, that explains you know? the voice. I, I prefer your voice this way. Yep. Damn humans! I might agree. Ah! Yeah, that makes sense for what Entomo would actually look like. Oh my god. I can imagine the people that would be very disturbed by that. Something tells me that's not gonna keep working. I need to fear. If I kill you, everything else will go down like a simple job and I can face. Paralysis technique! Oh shit, they're actually I don't think they can beat Entima, but they're actually giving her a challenge. Again, it's all because of Evil Eye, but still. Crystal wall. Okay. Oh, nice kick! I love it. Well, it's as heavy as my armor. How's that possible? That stingy spell of yours is getting annoying. I mean, the fact that they're. What now, boss? The fact that they're even competing with the Pleiades, though, is very impressive, given how just unreasonably powerful the the Nazarek people are. Okay. Uh, bro, they're too bored to eat. they're too bored to even animate that part. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I might say too bored, I mean they didn't have the budget. I'll finish her. Right. That's hilarious. I would appreciate it if you stopped there, ladies. Hey Demiurge. Hey, is that he, mass. Is he like you, Evil Eye? What in the Joker? Right. I will handle things from here on out. Please head back. Heal up. Rest a bit. Leave. <gasps> that is a monster among monsters. What are you gonna do, Shorty? Don't worry. Once I've bought you enough time to escape, I'll get away using teleportation magic. Yeah, she, she at least at least evil I can clearly recognize the power levels of others. It would grieve me to part so soon after meeting. So I'll block all teleportation. Dimensional lock. Maximize magic! Nullification? <laughs> Hellfire. Oh, he just fucking fucking like force field. Oh my god! My deepest condolence. Just like that! I didn't think that level of flame would kill them. <laughs> they were at least as strong as you. This motherfucker! What would you up with them? If that did them in, what the men, they were weaklings. Don't you dare call them that! <laughs> Aspect of the devil. Oh my god! And like all this build up just for... Penetrate, maximize magic, crystal dagger. It went right through his defense. That's not gonna work. Yep. Aspect of the devil, razor sharp claws. Yep. I can't get away while carrying their bodies, which means so be it. Let's do this. Oh God, what the fuck is that music? Hey, Ainz. Evening. So now Ainz is gonna beat Which Demiurge. One of you will be my foe. Interesting. And we are actually gonna get Ainz versus Demiurge, and that really was a spoiler. Okay. Interesting. Bro just popped up out of fucking nowhere. But this is all part of the plan. And this is also probably part of why Demiurge is wearing a mask. But I am assuming everything's gone according to plan so far. That's so cool. That is that is such a cool. This ED is fat phenomenal, visually, and I love the song too. Hmm. 
It is very funny how this series is written, right? The first season ended with us getting Shaltir versus Imes, and now the second season looks like it's going to end with us getting Demiurge versus Imes. Uh, do we have something here? No, just the preview. Okay. We're fine. All right. So besides the fact that I got confused between six arms and eight fingers, fuck, I almost did it again, uh, which was pretty funny. Uh, see, this is the kind of the thing about Overlord where it's like, there's a lot of characters, right? And I kind of commit certain things to memory very hard. And if, the, and if it's something that, and it, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I focus a lot of my energy in, in uh, uh, my uh, processing power in things that I think will last. Because the thing with like Overlord and the gimmick is that they introduce a lot of characters that you know are either going to die or not be important after like a few episodes. So, and unfortunately that does mean that I fuck myself. So, it is what it is, but uh, like I said, all those fuckers die. And it like, it kind of justifies that, even if that's maybe not the best way to go about things. But part of that's just because, you know, I'm, I'm you know, whatever. Anyways, that episode was pretty fun. Uh, a lot of action, which I guess kind of makes sense because last episode was all about like storytelling and dialogue. So it makes sense that we got a pretty action packed episode here. And really, I think 12 will probably have a lot of action. And then 13 will transition into wherever they want to leave us off before Overlord 3. But I did find uh, Demiurge to be fantastic. He is such a great character both as an actual character but as a character like right he because he he's got a great performance kind of motif to him but not in a way where it goes full like theater kid he, he he's got a nice balance between being a performer and doing what he's gonna do i really like that about him you guys know demiurge is fucking lit he's probably my favorite character to be completely honest i love him um he's just so cool like, to me, he's the coolest character. And, like, the, you know, like, I love, like, a lot of the, the uh, of Ainz's people, including Ainz himself. But Demiurge is just my fucking guy. He's the fucking goat. And, um, I did really like that, like, there was just some funny shit. Like, fucking Mare just breaking that bitch's leg and just, th that was funny. Um, fucking... You know, we got to see, like, a great fucking, um, we got to see a great fucking moment where Sebus just fucked those Pete guys, just punched their head, blew their brains out with his fist, which was lit. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of fun stuff in this episode. It wasn't, uh, this was just a kind of action-filled episode with a lot of, a lot of sus, and we got to see, um, the... We got to see a, a decent fight. We got to see Entima, who's not, like... Entima is obviously really fucking powerful, but Entima's not on that level where Entima's, like, a fucking problem um, on the level of, like, the main potatoes, right? Demiurge is one of the big boys. Like, Demiurge is one of the guardians, right? So he's he's on that hardcore level where it's, like, below... After Ainz, we're talking people like Demiurge, people like... Albedo, people like Shaltir, you know, the scary people, Kakaitis, like the the really scary motherfuckers. And so Demiurge shows up and yeah, and, and then, you know, Evil Eye immediately registers, this is what, that, he's him. Like she realizes that he's him and like he is not to be trifled with in any manner. She was already criticizing them for trying to fight Entima, but fucking Demiurge is a whole nother level. Of, of, of insanity. It is interesting to see, though, that we saw someone who was, seems to be able to more or less match up with Entima, uh, even if that largely had to do with the fact that she has a, a bug spray spell, essentially. Um, but I, that, that was really cool to see that she was even on that level uh, to, to, to really be able to turn the tide there. And obviously, Demiurge came in, cooked her friends right away, which which is which is wild because they did build up these characters for a little while, so it's always wild to see just how suddenly they get yeeted. Uh, but that is the nature of Overlord and kind of how we've built up this series. It's like um, there's kind of layer levels to a death, and like a real death would be, 
you know, if an overlord, if, if, if one of the Nazarek people died, but even then it's still possible to resurrect them. So it's like, there isn't really much in the way of like a true death type situation that you could really even do with this series. Um, at least in the short term, we'll see where it eventually goes down the line. I, and by, when I say down the line, I probably mean like beyond what we're even going to cover uh, in this like slot, but when down the line, maybe season four, maybe even further than that, when we get to things um, that haven't even come out yet in anime form. So, you know, I, I did like it though. That was, that was a, that was a fun episode. Definitely not on the level of the last episode, but it was fun. And I love Demiurge. So to get to see him doing his fucking shit, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, it looks like Ainz is going to most likely save Evil Eye and fight Demiurge in a totally, totally not scripted, totally not planned fight, um, that is part of a larger objective for Momon and Ainz and, and this whole situation that we have going. So I'm excited because Demiurge and Ainz going at it, even if it's not Ainz, and it's, you know, again, see, most likely a scripted fight. It sounds like it's going to be a really fun time. So I'm excited to see where this goes. And, and at this point, we have a little bit of a trend with the season's ending with Ainz taking on, whether, whether, whether for real or not, taking on members of his own, you know, guardians of his. Woo! Okay. So let's jump in to episode 12 of Overlord Season 2. All right, time to jump into Season 2, Episode 12, The Final Battle of the Disturbance, which of course was a reference to an earlier episode of Season 2. So let's jump in in 3, 2, 1, and play. Evening. So which one of you will be my foe? Raven Black Hero, I am Evil Eye of Blue Rose. We should form a party. Two adamantite adventurers might be able to take him down. Oh, no, I'd just be wasting his life too. I can't ask him to do that. Understood. Oh. Before we begin, may I have your name, Warrior? You may call me Yaldemeyev. That's fine. Ah, oh, that's what that name fine. was about. I'll play along. I am Momon, Adamantite class yep. adventurer. What is your purpose here? Apparently, an item with the power to summon and subjugate my kind has found its way into the city. I would prefer it not remain in the wrong hands, you understand. He got information out of him without even trying. He's a first rate adventurer, all right. Demir. Hmm. Hmm. Yalda Bayer ah! is there truly no option but to oppose each other? you almost fucking... No, there is not. Very well. That keeps my job simple. Fair I enough. just have to defeat you. I like you. it. Yeah. That's not a problem, yeah. right? I'll have to resist. Oh my I'm god, sure the fucking that. music. Here goes. What the fuck is the music? <laughs> Okay, dude, they're gonna have a very believable play fight, and I'm here for it. Feeling. it can't be. How? My heart stopped beating a long time ago. The fuck? Lord Momon, you're amazing. Oh my god, she's turned on. What the fuck? Why? Why does this keep happening? God, Jesus Christ, we found another simp. Why is everyone either a simp or a Yandere in this fucking series? <laughs> Lizard people, I hope we get to see you next season. Or at least in season four of the movie that we uh, return to over here. One answer.
Hold your determination high, baby. Yeah, no, this OP literally just spoils all the fucking fights. <laughs> I'll probably verify again whether that is the case with the, um... Cause I feel like the last one didn't really do that, but... I will probably verify whether I should watch. We need to move. But then it's kind of a waste because then you went, you wouldn't right. be watching the OP to what, like this episode, and okay. then at that point it's Let's like Lord that kind of sucks. But I don't know. I've, I've dealt with that with like fairy telling stuff wrong? in the past. Oh no, it's nothing. Let's go. No. Oops. You a fake? That was my thought initially. What the fuck? Oh, hello. Zero? So you know me. I'm flattered. Aw. I never forget a face. You're brain and glass, aren't you? If you're here. I guess Succulent wasn't full of crap after all. He was outmatched. In recognition of your extraordinary talent, I'll offer you one chance to walk out of here. Prostrate before me and swear your undying loyalty to Six Arms and kill the kid for good measure. <laughs> I thought that'd be the case. Oh shit, this is about to get hot. We actually have a fight between people who um, aren't so broken that there's no point. Show your face. Whoa. Hold it. Bro, I show your this face. Fight to be one on one. Lockmeyer, you and Klein take care of her. You've got it. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? Well, moving behind me once my back was turned was kind of a dead giveaway, genius. Of course, I suspected you were a rat the yeah. moment we found you. Fine. We get it. You've got sharp senses. Succulent, yeah. kill these small timers for me and try not to screw it up. Right. Good as dead. No problem. <laughs> it's just weird to hear that Fancy fucking voice with that fucking look. <laughs> dude, dude, I wish he kept the fucking look because that... That shit, that shit was funny as fuck. Oh man, fist versus sword. Always the whole iron-fisted monk thing was just big talk for the ladies, but you took it literally. Fair enough. Meanwhile, we have like a really like regular, the mo one of the most regular battles so we'll see here with you got a master thief prime and succulent. Back. It's so funny though, just how like. Just, just how, like, weird things could get, because Blind could die at any point, and then things would get very interesting with the princess. Yep. <laughs> Even the other guys that... Meanwhile, this just looks like a, a evenly matched. Damn it. That useless oaf. You certainly live up to your reputation. I actually have to try a little. He does. In fact, this may be the first time someone was still standing after this long. Not bad yourself. I guess we could start fighting like we mean it just for a bit. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, here we go! It's a sword barrier, right? If I'm careless and step too close, I'm done for. No mm -hmm. bad. Sadly, you can only use the technique when standing still and on the defensive. It's adorable, really. Don't tell me that's your ace in the hole. Only one survived it. It's a slash attack that uses both field, which never misses. And my own special blade attack, God Flash. I call it Whistling mm -hmm. Wind. 
Fascinating. Nice. Bet I could punch through it and not break a sweat. What do you say, Brain? Shall we put that to the test? So this is where you We hiding. shall. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. How are you alive? The others could have ripped you apart a dozen times by now. Your colleagues are lying in pools of their own blood feeding the crows. You beat them and made it here without a scratch. Yeah, like I'd believe that. The truth is often seen as impossible, especially by the foolish. Yep. Ah. Lord Semis, yep. the Tuari that was in the basement is <coughs> a fake. We have to save her quick. I appreciate your concern, young Klein. However, she's fine. You can see for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I already did that. <laughs> Tuari, please wait here. I'll Bro. just be a moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna murder. I'm just gonna Time commit a little uh, murder. I gotta send Grandpa here to the Undertaker. <laughs> you just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, old man? <laughs> you wish you Brain's had. like, yeah. The true terror of six no, on you. you, you uh, uh, the fucking Undertaker Come Gong is playing, but not for, but not yeah. for Sevis. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie. Personally, some of this stuff is just silly. Some of the just power stuff in this show. You could just tell how big of a nerd the uh, Overlord creator is. Not that there's anything wrong. What the fuck? What the fuck? He just fucking C2'd his ass! What the hell did you do? That was some fucking C2 shit! What the fuck, Sevis? Why did you see two his ass? A close one. But as fortune would have it, I was a tad stronger than the oversized brute. <laughs> yeah, just a tad, sure. <laughs> cool. Oh, nice. Good. Bro, this Good. girl's gonna get horny. Uh, yeah. <gasps> On your shoulder. Are you alright? Something this minor is no issue. Don't worry about me. I'm just glad you're safe. Uh, oh my god. This wow. girl is getting I'm horny. Honestly, just just to keep her alive. It's not often I feel the need to praise my opponent. Well done. Dude, you motherfucker. Demiurge, you talk too much. You talk I too much. Welcome. Forgive me, bards of the world. Knights really do fight to defend their maidens. I should have never doubted you. What the fuck? I feel more like bad oh, than fucked. princess. <laughs> Knock it off. That was this isn't the time for though. silly daydreams. Well, I believe I'll be on my way. Huh? I must find the item by any means necessary. A circle of hellfire will soon cover a section of the city. Should you foolishly choose to enter, I promise you a slow and painful journey into the afterlife. Farewell. Mm. Bro, what the fuck is wrong He's with him? He's getting away! We have to stop him! We can't. If we go after him, he'll start fighting like he really means it. And if that happens... Protecting me. You truly are a gallant. Aww. Great. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Seriously. After that, we Bra managed to drive no the insect clue. made right down to the ground. Is that right? Huh? Did you kill her? No. <laughs> the Aldebaoth made sure that didn't happen. I see. Don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> so, it could be that Yoldebaoth only attacked you to defend the insect maid. Would you say that's a possibility? I'd say we tugged on the tiger's tail and got bit. But you heard what he said. Trapping part of the city in hellfire? No way that's just retaliation. He would have done it even if his servant wasn't attacked. Yep. Yep. My friends were right to challenge her. I'm sure any of us yep. would have done the same. Uh, uh, of <laughs> without question. Yeah, this is an awkward situation. I beg your pardon. To piece together. Uh, no, no 
please lift your head. A man as handsome as you shouldn't be. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't see him. What am I saying? I just can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is so it's stupid. It's been a few hundred years since Bro, I lost I hate touch, this. But nothing wrong with that, is there? Of course not. Kinky. He's everything I like and stronger to boot. Miss Evil Eye. <laughs> yes. Hi, Lord Momo. I need to fill Navi in on a few things. Excuse what me. What the fuck? Oh. No, oh, fuck him talking to a wo another woman. Here. Shit. Oh, just wait till you meet Sheltier and I'll get out if you ever we do. We should still be cautious while we're around her. Now then, Narbro. Smart. I can pretty well guess what Demiurge's plan is overall. However, the more precise yeah. the machine is, the easier it is to disrupt. One slip up could throw a wrench into the gears. We must prevent the slightest misunderstanding from knocking us back to square one. Do you get what Fair I'm saying? Fair enough. Indeed I do. I expected no less from you, Lord. I have everything well in hand. Who am I kidding? The only reason I'm out here is you because have no some noble named Raven made a special request of the guild. We had to ride on a floating board. I felt like luggage the whole time. But the reward was exceptional, so we managed. And once I saw the disturbances, I thought, wait, this is Momon's first big fight in the capital city. I gotta oh, make a badass entrance. Sake. So I jumped. Oh, how did things turn out this way? Hmm? <sighs> now, I need you wow. to touch. Wow. 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 This is myself, so great. But I can't it's so stupid. I don't even know what to say, Besides, honestly, at this if she saw point. Me, it would complicate things. Hmm. Is she staring? Bro, she honestly, I don't me. think... Hmm. I think she'd Perhaps, suck your non-existent boner I think you'd regardless. find eyes filled with lust and sparkles. Let's not wax <laughs> I can read her thoughts like the back of my hand. There's no attraction. Getting upset when she's... What the fuck? What are you on about? If only a little. I should have expected as much. Forgive me, Lord Ides. Truly, your vision befits one who sits upon the throne. Please, I think she's so turned on that... It was an obvious consideration that arose from my own slip-up. Let's get the ball uh -huh. rolling. Nor Makes sense. Lord. Send message. Well, that should keep my reputation as leader from Ooh, falling I like, apart I like that. I like this OST a little. Yeah, this is a complicated situation to try and you know, piece together, to be I honest. I believe that a little child like her possesses adamant A little bit of a mess. Uh, child, Sorry, child, you little do you know. Would you like me to help you carry them? Me, oh, for fuck's sake. My friend should be along shortly. It's possible we'll be able to cast resurrection magic on them here. I'd rather not move them. Hmm. You have a party member who can cast resurrection magic. Uh, that's right. Our team leader, Lacus can invoke Ray's dead. It's a fifth-tier spell. Impressive, I guess. And your friends? Will they be able to engage in combat soon after? Mm -mm. I'm afraid not. This magic costs a huge amount of life force at the time of resurrection. Quite a toll. I hmm. see. As such, Interesting. They won't be so they sh so they're the strong enough to afterwards. probably survive. I wouldn't even suggest it for someone weaker than them. They'd be reduced to ashes. Unfortunate. If you wouldn't mind, could we wait here with you? I would like to meet this leader of yours, Lady Lacius. <laughs> Why do you want to meet Lacius? Sure enough, she's. <laughs> I would simply He's like to totally meet the leader misreading the situation. The fellow adventurer what and my the senior actual experience. fuck? Is there some reason fucking why oblivious I shouldn't? are you? No, no, no Momon. problem. Not in the slightest. Momon, sir. Huh? Bro. I think you will want to see this. What the fuck? Oh, well, there's the circle of Hellfire. <laughs> Oh, they're about to do a sick transition again, aren't they? Honestly, the direction of that transition in episode 10 was the best direction. Little, like, director's touch of the entire series. So ever again. I understand. Just so you know, everything you've done means the world to us. Please think nothing of it. 
You have helped me keep my promise to Tuare. I will repay you go. someday. Dude, Sebus is right there. He is right there with Demiurge, actually, for my favorite character. He's a goat. Yep, yep. I'm curious how they're going to potentially resolve this in one episode, though. Tell me it feels a little Sebus. complicated to... Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of little... Like, how is this all going to piece together? We never got the transition I thought we were going to get. The flames of Gehenna. She recognized that he recognized what they were. Brave adventurers. Thank you for coming together so quickly. We face a dire crisis. Early this morning, a wall of flames sprang up around this area, cutting off a section of the city. However, these flames are similar to an illusion and seem to cause no harm upon contact. Miss Lachius, leader of the famous Blue Rose, confirmed this for us. I touched it with my own hand. It didn't feel hot to the touch, and I passed clear to the other side without any issue. However, there appears to be a horde of low-level demons infesting the area. The ringleader has identified himself as Yon Deoth. He is an extremely fiendish and powerful demon, and many evil creatures of power are yep. serving under him. How strong are we talking? Two of the members of Blue Rose, the warrior Gagarin and the thief Tia, were killed. Yep. And he did it with just one blow. Calm yourselves. Yep. Yes, Yaldabaoth's strength is immense. I confronted him myself and was powerless against his might. But we have someone yep. even stronger. The Raven Black Hero, Moan. Yep. 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 Fear not. I know it seems hopeless, yep. but I wouldn't you do know this it. unless I thought we could win. I've devised a plan yep. of attack that I believe. And I believe that. I really like, I really like Rainier. She's, she is honestly more nuanced than you, re we'll need you almost ever see the to rescue the civilians for Yandere. Ironically, the le way less important Yandere is from what I've captive, seen a lot more nuanced than Albedo, which is pretty funny. And have likely split up families to discourage dissent. That makes sense. Try and control the situation as best You'll as you go. can. Won't you or, climb? like, assuming that at least. Without hesitation. Interesting. Even if I die trying. Princess. Interesting. Would it be okay if I tag along? You would be most welcome, Lord Brain Unglaus. <laughs> Count me in. Sounds fun. Thanks, everyone. I shall remain here and pray to the gods. I love how there was a little reaction safely. to Brain's the name. They're like, oh, that's who that is? Happy cool. hunting. Happy hunting. Nice. I love how she's like the most cliche prim and, prim and proper princess. Take this with you. What is it? Looks like a magic item. It is. That ring can transcend human bounds and push your strength well past your limits. Past my Whoa. limits? I can't possibly accept such a precious item. You can. The woman I got it from trusts my judgment. Bring Fair enough. Uh, Hell yeah. We all have to come back for Princess Renair's sake. Hell yeah. Right. God, if only you guys knew how fucking psychotic that bitch is. But she's actually playing the fucking political game of being a princess incredibly well. So you'll form well. a line using the adventurers and, and back them up with the guardsmen in an effort to thin out the enemy's formation. <laughs> At that point, the raven black hero Momon and the Lady Nabe, along with Lady Evil Eye yep. Blue Rose, will break through the center like mm -hmm. a spear through fodder. Yeah, they're the nice. But they're the three. Mission a bit too risky. He'll be making rounds inside the capital along with your soldiers. 
It's no different than his usual duties. Yes, Klein may end up dying. Then my dear friend Lachius will cast her resurrection magic on him. And when his life force has been weakened by such a potent spell, I will personally take him into my tender care. What? The Since it was my order that got him killed to begin with, no one would dare object. I would only be doing what's right. So that's your you plan. fucking psycho. Was your plan all along, dear sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Her face is great. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, we got to hear like that fucking I don't know if that was the entire song, but we got a lot of myth and Road at the end of that episode. Jesus Christ. It was definitely way more than the 90 seconds we get at the end of most episodes of Overlord Season 2. But, uh, yeah, that was Season 2, Episode 12. I really liked that episode. Um, I think that was a stronger episode than 11. 11 had its it, it, its pros for sure. That was, that was wild. Jesus Christ. That, Jesus Christ. Princess Rainier is, like, so sick. I hope she's, like, a relevant character for a extensive amount of time uh because she's fucking great like like i said nuanced and yandere do not usually go together she is like surprisingly nuanced and very intelligent she's without a doubt one of the most intelligent characters in the series and you know this series has quite a few intelligent characters um she's fucking great like actually is a really interesting character she's a really interesting there's a lot of, like I said, she's very nuanced. I wouldn't, she doesn't really strike me as evil per se. She is in the truest form, a Yandere, who is, I would say otherwise, by all accounts, a good person, but she's just so fucked up because she's a fucking crazy ass bitch who is way too in love with Klein and to the point that she loves the idea of Klein dying so that Klein can get resurrected so Klein would be so weak and helpless and she could care oh my god that's so good oh my god that is such a fucked up like way of viewing the concept of love it's like oh my god she is great it kind of steals the episode whenever she pops up these days it's it's wild and I love how they reasonably built that up to what we learned about her while also like keeping everything in a, in a position where I didn't know it was coming. And I just really love what they've done with her. She is a fantastic fucking character. I really like her. I think she's probably the best addition to the, to, to the uh, narrative in season two. Obviously we met a lot of new characters. There's some really cool people. Cause like brains, one of my favorite, one of my favorites of the like non Nazarick people, but obviously a season one, potato as far as people we've met this season i think you know uh, properly uh been introduced to i i think she's like the goat she's great um but yeah this was a really fun episode uh to talk back to earlier in the episode uh obviously the stuff with evil eye and momon is fucking hilarious and the fact that Ainz is so oblivious to the fact that evil eye is like horny for him is hilarious because at least it's so it's so over the top with like Shaltier and with uh, Albedo that like you literally cannot be oblivious to it. But in the case of of uh, Evil Eye, it's just subtle enough. Which it's not subtle at all, but it's just subtle enough comparatively that he's oblivious to it, which is hilarious. And um, I love how he gives people he, he's giving her too much credit too, which is very indicative of his character. So it, it fits him quite well. Um, but yeah, like this was like I said, there was a lot of good stuff in that episode. I really. I really liked how they, you know, kind of went about everything and it just, it felt like that episode had like a really smooth structuring and, I, you know, the fight, you know, the fucking Baldy getting fucking yeeted by fucking, fucking, uh, fucking Sebus doing the fucking leg super stretch, like head kick and just being like, bitch please was great. Although really not much of note happened in that episode of course like i said we left off with the hellfire which set up that kind of conversation and 
everything. But now that I think about it, we really didn't get much in that episode, but it felt like it was really well paced and a very nice semi-final because now we're going to deal with this final battle between um, Demiurge's alter ego, which has a ridiculous name that I'm not going to try and repeat because I'm never going to probably have to say it. it. It'll never come up probably after this episode. And all of that. The fact that there's only one episode left does confuse me a little bit, which means that this episode is going to be all gas. It's going to be moving very fast. And we're going to get to, you know, that final confrontation with uh, Demiurge's alter ego, which probably isn't going to last that long. Because, again, we only have one episode left. And I'm assuming that we are ending the arc here. And we are going to have a resolution. And not just like a, cl a cliffhanger for season three. That doesn't... One, doesn't feel like Overlord would do that in general, but certainly does not feel like Overlord would do that here. It just doesn't feel... This scenario doesn't have the gravitas to end on a cliffhanger. Like, this This is... It's an interesting kind of weird situation that's going on. It doesn't feel like the type of thing that you would bother with that. Because this is a bit of a strange arc even though i enjoyed episode 11 and i really liked this last episode especially even though again ironically a lot more happened in episode 11 but i often like episodes where not a lot happens as it were anyways let's jump into the season two finale of overlord all right we're about to see something crazy out of momon i assume because this episode is called the ultimate trump card uh could be could be nabe though we'll have to see I don't really know, but whatever it's going to be, it's going to be wild. So let's jump into the season two finale of Overlord in three, two, one, and play. No opening, okay. People of the proud kingdom of Riestes, these devils Oh my god, this motherfucker. As long as I have this blade, no monster will harm you. There you go. Bro, fucking fat ass, mid, uh, short ass, fat ass, dumb ass Kurapika over here. Where'd all the people go? Think they're hiding in their houses? Literally, Kurapika with none of Kurapika's. No, look at the doors. Go to qualities. Probably dragged somewhere. Iron and copper adventurers, stay here and search through the houses. The rest of you, spread out and form a defensive line. They'll be here soon. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, I literally just said that. What the fuck? Overeating? Gazer devils? Fred and Lackish. Hellhounds, too? Yeah, just all this fucking demon stuff. <laughs> no, stay with the crew! Wow. Bro, bro just fucking... Bro has a tongue like he's fucking Snorlax. What the fuck? Well, that's horrifying. There's the boys! Well, boy and girls, actually. You know what I mean when I say the boys. I think you've had enough snacks! Nice. Such poultry foes. Fear not. I am Momon the Adventurer, and Yaldabaoth will fall just as easily. Nice. But while I deal with him, I need you to keep the citizens beyond the wall safe. I'm counting on you. Hell yeah. Oh, dramatic Overlord 2 title card. So, I, or maybe the ultimate trump card just refers yeah. to Momon I himself. They can distract them long enough for us to find and rescue the prisoners. Well, Renera had mentioned the warehouses. Mm. That seems as good a place as any to start. It's not a good. Out. It's not a good. Uh, it's a good shout. Is what I'm trying to say. Fuck. What the fuck? Was that the fucking princess? Shout to your blood oh God! Actually... That's who that was. That looked like a blonde, though. Go ahead. I'll buy as much time as I can. Don't wait for me. That was. Yeah, that's not. Oh my God! She rec what are you, you recognized and your her. Doing in the capital. What makes you think I owe a human any kind of explanation? You actually, damn, that actually is a great look for Shelton. Are you the only one that made it this far? You sound disappointed. What's the matter? 
Weren't you waiting for me? For you? Why would I? Oh, I get it. I was so insignificant, you don't remember me. Yeah, right? exactly. Would you like to die, little man? I can help, but first, I think I'll have you prostrate and lick my boots. Hot. That's exactly what I need uh, to improve I, my mood. I would do that. I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Round two. Here we go. <sighs> what a hassle. I guess you can't sense how much stronger I am. Oh, I can. <laughs> I'll die, but at least I'll buy Klein the time he needs. And I'll go out my way. With sword in I don't actually think he's gonna die. He probably will, but Thanks for showing me the way. This would be a weird way for him to die. My dear friends. <laughs> yep. Fourfold. A slash of life. Oh! Oh shit! You aimed for it? We uh, fought before. <laughs> At least you pass for a nail clipper. Oh, it's quite the compliment. I'll gladly take it. My swordsmanship. My life's work was uh, the massive waste uh, I thought it was. Holy In some shit, small Bray. way, I actually touched that unreachable height. Poor crazy boy. <laughs> Let me put you out of your misery. No, he's actually like really like hyped because he's like honestly. Close, I, can't sense his presence. I would be too. That detection blocking ring really makes it hard to stalk my beloved. Dude, how? Would... Wow, bro, trying to stalk her. Insolent ant! I refuse to let a measly human escape from me unharmed. Time accelerating. Oh Jesus Christ! Is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, what what the fuck is about to happen actually? Now I don't know what's gonna happen with Shaltir. That's just such a random thing. She literally was trying to stalk fucking eyes. Yeah, Entima they have to We severely underestimated the forces of Yaldabaoth. You two handle the newcomers. Let's get to it, Dimmy! Demon! Wow. Wow. I'll take three and you'll handle the other two. That should be enough to subdue them. I don't mind taking three. You'll take two. There's no point arguing with me. <laughs> My, what a stubborn one. <laughs> it's so funny because evil eyes is fucking me. great. My name is Alpha. This is Delta. Wow. Actual using a actual names. Wow, what the fuck? My name is Evil Eye. I'll be the last thing you ever see. I don't actually think I have Alpha's name. What are you doing? I Delta, you go Gamma, ahead. Epsilon, we just... whoa, whoa, whoa. Zeta. Back up a bit. What's with you and that lady in white? You look like you'd seen a specter. Why isn't she chasing me? Is this some kind of lover's quarrel? No. She's a monster who could give Sebus a run for his money. Actually, little... Wait, and you... Attacked her? Sure did. I even managed to cut off her fingernail. <laughs> Holy crap. I cut it off and lived to tell about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Way to go, Brain. I'm proud yeah, of you. You don't understand how much of a monster special, really. you really special. have. Yes, you... right. Ah, I love That's how everyone's reading him as a psycho. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Brain. Well, I'm not sitting around to see if she'll He's chase such us. a cliche, cool character, but like, Marshall! seems like that Please make his character me! work. That's such a sick blade, holy shit. Floating swords, do your work! Of course, she, not to mention there's memes that come along with that blade, which make it no even better. What now, evil boss? Not good. The priests are running low on magic power. Six-fold slash of light! That's our guy, yeah. Put him through! It sounded like him. My lord Stronoff, this is a crisis. Shouldn't you be guarding the castle? His majesty oh, is What is he doing here? Whoa. His majesty asked of me. Which do you protect? The castle or the crown? There's only one answer. The crown. We swore to protect the king and uphold his kingdom. So in a 
attack on his people is an attack on him. Hell yeah. Attack! And that's a very, it's a very good PR move I'm too. I'm glad you're here. Think you could help me with something? Of course. Not without us. Uh, It'll take more than death to Damn, you. what the hell? This ninja is ready to get back into the fray as well. How are you guys moving? The guard, Tia. Just lying around was making me soft. We're ready to fight. There's no way. Always happy to have you along. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm curious as to how they're... Jesus Christ, that's a scary boy. Let's go! Yes, ma'am! Nice, that's a cool squad. You got the... You got Blue Rose minus Evil Eye, and you got... That's a trippy looking effect. Wow. Sandfield all This is really interesting because it's like monsters aren't supposed to team up like this. They have to fight they have to fight like this fight is like a specific also, it is really funny how just Entima is now just, like, considered evil in canon. So, like, all the others are able to just disguise themselves in these fights, but... Impressive. I've never met anything immune to negative energy Girl has a cute-ass fucking you must spike. Have every resistance there is. Yeah. Looks they're pretty like OP. Mohan is still in the fight. And this is when they're trying not to kill you. In that case, I'll buy him as much time as I can! It's complicated when you're simultaneously trying not to kill them, but also not get killed, even if... What the fuck? You're sure this room is secure? I've seen to it. There's no one who can listen in on our conversation, my lord. All right. Tell me everything about your plan. Of course. But first, allow me to thank you for indulging me, my lord. I'm rather eager to share the results of my design. Oh. Hmm. Overall, there are four merits to the series of plans I have devised. Okay. Four? I don't know a single one! <laughs> hmm. Here I thought there were three. I think this may be the first time I've bested you in a contest of one. <laughs> Oh, you always have the better of me. You are too much. <laughs> I'm flattered. Oh, no, jeez. Really? <clears throat> now, why don't you tell me about these merits? Right. The first Dude, one is fucking that you're all the face. materials within the surrounding storehouses. Hmm. Fantastic! Now we don't have to worry about being low on funds for a while. Secondly, this incident allows us to cover our attack on eight fingers, as you instructed us to do. Now that you mention it, you said your goal was to recover a powerful item. See for yourself. The magic within is called Armageddon Evil. Tenth tier magic, almost god level. Holy shit. As I recall, it summons a horde of demons. My creator Lord Albert also crafted this item. Shall we use it here? Hmm. I have one better. I think you'll like it. It's Albert's prototype of the same item. It should work all the same. You may use it for your purposes. Lord, I couldn't possibly use such a personal treasure. Oh? Then I shall gift it to you, Demiurge. <laughs> Though, wow. Albert might be embarrassed that I've kept his failed creation around for so long. Do with it as you see fit. Such an honor. Aww. It's the shittier version. I'm most grateful. Yep. Stop that. Really. Consider it thanks for your fierce loyalty. The Great Ones created us. It is only yeah. right we are loyal. I mean, that makes sense, that but... We continuously demonstrate but, uh, until we meet our end. Tell that to AI. Yes, for to once again address me, a servant with such charity. Oh, God, the simping dude. you such a precious gift. Demir, to keep it in your pants. By humbly offering an even deeper devotion to your will. Hot? Mm -mm. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> it's now, like, what the fuck do you even say to that? I wish yes. to know the rest of your plan. With that narrative in place, Yaldabaoth has attacked the Eight Fingers bases looking for this item, which just happened to give him control of the capital's warehouse district. And of course, this item will be found in the warehouse that serves as Eight Fingers' base of operations. 
Obviously. Tell me the merit. Right. We have captured all the humans that were trapped within the Wall of the Flame. The majority of them are already being taken to Nazarene, where I think they can be put to all kinds of uses. Regardless of their age or gender, I'm assuming. Of course. Ever since I ended up in this body, I yep. haven't felt a sense of affinity for the human race. Yep. Not a single death or suffering we've yep. inflicted has pained my heart. If it benefited Nazarik, I didn't care. But, even so... Listen carefully. Interesting. See that those who haven't dishonored the great tomb or myself were given painless deaths. Only the guilty shall suffer. How benevolent, my lord. It shall be as you wish. Fair Back enough. Topic. You still have one more merit to reveal. Yes, lord. When everything is said and done, all the city's woes will be laid at Yaldabaoth's feet. In other words, you're establishing yourself as a notorious yep. demon. Yep. He's using this to increase Momon's reputation. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I mean, that's the that was the most obvious sense. thing about this. But he he so was doing a lot more than I realized. Even yeah, I I figured all out. You have to do is drive I didn't think he would actually take all the people. Problem, Lord, I will do everything in my power to serve you as your foil, and I promise yeah. to put on one hell of a Jim show. Jim would want to be fucking Momon's foil. That's just so him. It's so great. God, I love him. Wow, that little girl has some serious moves. What did she say her name was? I don't know. She's a rodent. Why would I care what other rodents call her? Wow. I believe she is Evil Eye, a blue rose. She was listed in the information Sebes collected. All right, Lord Ines mentioned that. Narborough, honey, I think your mind's starting to go. <laughs> I'm sure none of you remember wow. the humans you've met. It was no problem for me. I pay close attention to proper names. Nice. Everyone! I actually get along pretty nice. well with them, too. That's cute. No, no problems, either. What the fuck, Antima? Uh, An earthquake feels like one of Ma Rays. <laughs> They're kind of thrown off. Is this some kind of sign? That's right. Okay, Narborl. Time for you to get some bruises. It needs to look real, but I'll try to go gentle. Sorry about this. Don't worry about me. <laughs> this is our job. Yeah. It's the devil! He's coming back for us! Remain calm. We're here to help you. They took my child. Please, we yeah, have to Yeah, my hurry. wife, too. We have a three-year-old Please, son. Do you hope anyone see you? Looks like the princess was right on the money. Sure enough, those bastards split up the families when they took them. Yep. It makes sense. It really does. Fighting? Don't worry, that won't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I just got like fake fucked up, but I did kind of get fucked up. Speaking of, <laughs> yo, <laughs> the music's so badass. Oh, yeah, he's, was she's coming. Fun. How can I describe it? Real, perhaps? Yes, I'm really getting to fight. I am pleased that you're pleased. Now I'll take this seriously. Holy shit. Me, then. Let's I'm go. Winning. Let's fucking go. Let's see a fake fight between Jimmy Urge and Momon. I will say this episode feels like I don't know how much time we have left, I don't wanna know, but it feels like this is going kinda long. Of course we had no OP, which helps. Yep, yep. Yo, that that actually looks pretty good. Not a code of a super explosion, but it actually it looks pretty sick. You must have boosted your power. How else could you melt a weapon of this level? How else indeed? The flames of hell. What's wrong? You <laughs> want a true fire to test. <laughs> so I'll give you, you one that sears the very soul. Frost pain modified. Ah. What's that? Ah. It's much like that spear you used earlier. Yeah, something something more recent. Yeah, something 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 new. Something from this season. You truly are a strong warrior. As are you. It's like watching gods at play. Oh, you don't have a clue. I have a proposal for you. I will withdraw now. Shall we call this the end of our battle? Of 
course not! Very well. <gasps> this woman seems clueless. I can't fathom why you would bring someone so unintelligent, Mr. Moan. <laughs> Think hard for a moment and you might understand. I'll give you a clue. I have my demon horde standing by to assault the entire capital. You would take the city hostage? Now then, we will leave as agreed. Yep. Sadly, we were unable to retrieve the item, but there's always next time, Momon. Fair enough. To win. Holy shit. Ah! Oh, she's, you did it! She's Come coming! On. You're incredible, Mr. Momon! What the <laughs> fuck? Give me some space, miss. Oh, don't be bashful. <laughs> hey! Huh? Shorty's still kicking! You guys. Yep. Go on, Lord. Declare our victory. I don't know. As the most distinguished warrior yeah. in this battle, yeah. it's your duty. He's Come playing on, coy, don't be shy. But he, he knows he's, right. he's always was Very planning right. to do that. Yeah! Lord, is Fuck yeah. Go, Playing the OP I now, see. okay. You're really going back to Iran till then? I'd very much like to accompany you. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. You have done us and the kingdom a great service. Hmm. His Majesty would have liked to thank you personally, but he must oversee relief efforts. Makes sense. That's quite all right, Marquis Raven. I'm grateful for all you've done. Not at all. I hope we can continue our good relations moving forward. Members of Blue Rose, as a fellow Adamantite class adventurer, I hope I can look to you the next time something comes up. As do we. Farewell. You turned you down, huh? <laughs> Not at all. Hey. That's just the kind of man he is. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong about that, actually. I'll give you that. As of now, you're all servants to our great master. What the, the fuck? One and overlord of debt. Give yourselves a hand. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Eight fingers. To a fun new place. Fun. Yes, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> no, please wait. Huh? Hilma. You don't mean me, do you? I did everything you asked of me. Don't let it have me. I can't take it anymore. Whoa, what did you do to her? I might have taken her into Kyohuko's room and had him eat her from the inside out a couple mm. times. Ew. Oh, that figures. And then you used healing magic to make her fresh as a daisy. It's only natural that she'd be more submissive after that. <laughs> okay, lady. We need you to buy some time with the others until we're sure they'll do as they're told. Can you do that for us? Uh-huh. Of course I can. <laughs> leave them to me. Hell oh, yeah. I love it. They've manipulated the inside. With that done, we've officially taken over half the country. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All those yeah, under just your casually, wish just to casually have taken over half the country. And we kind of have two fronts I, I to this. I would like to see them. You mustn't. I'm sorry to decline your kind feelings, but it's for the best. Uh, oh, she, he thought he saw something for a second. He thought he saw something for a second. Dude, I'm sorry. That is a I'll hot be, every time she makes that face. Too, uh. Buzz off. Kicked it bad. She cried. <laughs> this sure takes me back. Don't want me in with you. In wow. addition to that old lady, I had these fools to deal with. Hey, Evil Eye. Huh? Something's been bugging me since Momon left. Why didn't you just create a portal to Eranto? I mean, you could have gone with him as you pleased and never looked back, am I right? <gasps> no way. Did you just realize that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You fucking dumbass. I'd like to introduce the newest maid to join Nazarek. I'm Tuari Nina. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is there any sort of training you'd like me to focus on with your Lord Service? Well, there's Wolf. no need for special treatment. Just aim for the same passing grade as any maid. That said, Tuari is only human. Please keep a training gear with that in mind, Lady Pistonia. I understand perfectly. Being a maid is a temporary assignment for her. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Only that she'll be quitting once she's married. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> I... You know, it's so weird because they look like they have an age difference. I guess technically their age difference is kind of reversed, actually. But it is really interesting to think about. But the concept of being made as opposed to being born is a whole fucking thing. It's good to have you back, Lord Hines. Yeah, it's good to What is your bidding? <laughs> they just ended on his... Oh. Oh. Oh, they do... I've looked into do this not do not go and fellow as you Ah, uh, where we started the season. If such a man truly exists, 
I'd say that his caliber of magic would rival my own, perhaps even surpass it. Interesting. Is that why you seem so pleased, old man? Naturally, my lord. It takes all manner of oracles to gaze into the abyss, but to find a true magical peer. If possible, I would like to meet him personally, my lord. Interesting. I would also like you to collect information on an adamantite This guy known as the Raven looks Black so Hero gay Roman. and it's turning me on. Think you could help me with that, old man? Of course I can. What the fuck? My emperor. My emperor, huh? Interesting. So we got an emperor now. As the world continues to gradually expand. That has been one of the fun things, is watching this universe expand over time. That's kind of the one of the cool things about this story. That was fun! Um, I don't really know what to think. Like I said, it didn't feel... And this is sometimes what can happen in anime when you have, like, a series that has a bunch of story arcs and you have, like, a set amount of episodes and, like, structurally, like... I don't know, though. I was gonna say, but, like, I don't necessarily feel any of these arcs necessarily had a finality to them because... Last arc would have felt like more of a cliffhanger if it ended there. Uh, even though it was my favorite episode of the series, so I wouldn't have minded. Um, this arc was fine. I liked the... I think what I liked about this arc was the progression for Nazari. The progression for Aims. Like, we accomplished a lot in his inevitable quest of world domination, right? Like, we've taken over half the country, yay! Like, and, and all that shit. And obviously, both Momon's reputation is growing and growing as a hero, while Ainz is also growing as an as a uh, overlord, right? So, we have both both secretly and um, uh, surface level. So, so, we got a lot that's happening, and it's all working out quite well. So, I definitely think the further progression, and I really like that he takes his time, and he doesn't you know, he's not worried about, you know, doing this as fast as possible. He's taking his time. He's doing things the way he wants to do them. And I, I think it's really, it's one of the things that I do appreciate about Ainz is he, you know, he has, a, he has these, you know, obviously these grand objectives that by all accounts he should be able to achieve, but he's still taking them and doing it kind of the right way, even if he is at a, a point in this world where he kind of has a cheat code to do it. Uh, in more aggressive manners, right? Um, you know, I think of series uh, with, you know, I, it's funny. There's a series that, as weird as it would be if I said it, kind of has a similar pre premise, but the difference is is that the protagonist doesn't have the means to just kind of uh, accelerate his plans more than he necessarily does. He probably takes them as fast as he reasonably can for the most part, but... Um, it's interesting to see a situation where you have a character in Ainz who's so absurdly overpowered that he could uh, go about this in other ways and accelerate his plans a lot faster than he is, but he's taking his time both out of caution but also out of a, a, a feeling of wanting to make sure he does everything right because in the end he is just a fucking rando that liked playing a, a video game a lot and is thrust into this situation so you know he understands that you know maybe even though it's clear that I'm like fucking god in this world I still shouldn't um, take things for granted and overestimate um, because essentially it is his life now and like that creates a very different environment compared to playing a game so I think it's a really realistic portrayal of a character that has a lot of complications and you know like I said like the whole thing about how since he's been in this body he's felt no feelings no no nothing towards human humanity and, and and all of that and that's kind of an over that's kind of been a kind of loosely threaded story arc throughout this series so far uh is kind of the fact that he's really not human and he doesn't feel things and he doesn't he doesn't have the same type of humanity he would have had before the events of season one episode one and it's really interesting how that plays into his decision makings and we see the kind of the mix of the person that he was and the overlord that he's becoming as as Ein. so it, it's interesting it's really interesting i like I've always thought that that's something that the, the series leans on um, a fair bit in a good way. And I think it's one of the more intriguing elements characterization-wise. Because I think this series is kind of in a weird mix with characters. I feel like there's a lot of kind of characters that are like really 
fun, but don't have a lot of depth to them. And then there's a few characters that are a lot more interesting. Like, the thing about Ainz is, unlike most of his servants, and I say most, um, he has a lot of depth to him. And obviously the servants were kind of made a certain way, so it's interesting to see. And it makes sense that in a lot of ways they're characters more than characters. But um, that's why I think, you know... I. Um, but with him, obviously, he's the character, I think, more than any other, not because, not even because he's the main character, but just in the context of everything, that he has to show that depth of characterization, and I do think that we, he is interesting, and he has layers to him, and that helps a lot with this story, because it's not as simple as just him being kind of one-dimensional one way or the other, um... And I like that about him. And I think that that can kind of complement the, the, some of the characters around him being a bit more one note, even if they are great at their one note, right? Like Albedo is fucking hilarious and awesome, but she is relatively one note. And same goes for a lot of the people around him. And, and that's just kind of the nature of the essence of the story, right? Because if you, if you veer too far from that, then you're kind of heading in a different territory. And I wouldn't mind if Overlord goes in that direction, um, but there's a lot of... It, 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 I don't feel like that necessarily will be something that is um, played with that much because I think even in the first two seasons, a lot of the quote-unquote uh, situations where that's happened, like with Sebus in the last arc, was kind of over-exaggerated, I would say, is the best way to put it. Because in the end, he is still, you know, firmly loyal to Ainz, and that is what matters most, and all that shit, right? So, regardless, I do really like that episode. I thought that was a fun finale. Anytime we get Rainier teases, sh she's just fucking the best. Um, I really liked uh, how Demiurge was just like, yeah, I, I, I figured we could do all these things, and, and it, you know, they all help us. So why not go with through with this? And really the only thing about that plan that wasn't perfect, and this was just kind of a weird side effect of what was going on, was that Entima is now seen as like a villain, right? So Entima can't be used in a positive light because Entima is kind of tied to Demiurge's alter ego and this, you know, villainous character that that um Ainz and Nazareth can use when necessary to cause fake panic and to to further advance their objectives. So now Dimir just created this persona um, that is seen as like an enemy of the kingdom and, and, and has aligned everything to help things out. It makes a lot of sense. It, it, it's good shit. And I'm curious to see when that will be further utilized with Demiurge. It's just another fun thing that uh, Ainz can play with in his uh, when he feels like it's necessary. And who knows when that'll come up again, but it's something in his back pocket if he does need to uh, create a scene and create chaos and, and, and do this for X, Y, or Z reason. It's good shit. It's good shit. This was a fun season of Overlord. I think it was, I think it was better written than season one. I, I, I think there were points like, because like I said, I thought the first five episodes were really well put together, but I think it was hard for me to get invested in that arc because, you know, it was hard for me to care too much about the lizard people, but I thought like structurally it was well put together. I think it was probably beginning to end still the best written arc of the show, uh, which is crazy. Uh, and then, you know, I thought the last arc was really fun. I think the, like I said, I think the last arc had the best conclusion because I, I think season two, episode 10 is the peak of Overlord up to this point. And like I said, will be tough to beat in the future. And I thought these last three episodes were cool too. And I enjoyed it. I, I don't know if Overlord season two was necessarily much better than season one. I think objectively, I think season two was probably a little better than season one because I think everything was, I think there was like, Right, because I love Clementine. She was fucking incredible, and that that's a huge bias for season one for me. But um, I think season two's writing was a little cleaner. Like, I think there was a lot of stuff that 
could use work. Again, I don't think this is like an incredible show, but I do think it does a lot of things right. There's a lot of things that keep my interest. It does sometimes, there are moments where I just feel, where it does it does feel kind of generic, and, and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. Um, and yeah, I don't know. This was a decent season, and I feel similarly about it that I did about season one. But I do think we got the best episode of the series so far by quite a bit in season two, episode ten. And I do think that overall, it was still decent storytelling and for the most part, I was interested in what was going on. So pretty good. Pretty good. I kind of leave season two the same way I leave season one. And probably what I'm going to feel about this show overall, which is it's pretty good. Nothing that's like blowing me away, but nothing that's making me wish I wasn't watching this show either. I kind of land. It's kind of one of those that's not like mind blowingly amazing, but it's also very solid. And I'm interested to see what they do with season three, which is what we will not be getting to next time because we have more Pleiades shorts. So we'll actually be reacting to the next batch of play, play Pleiades. And then after that, we will jump into overlord season three and you know, that'll go on for a few videos. Uh, and then we'll have the season three Pleiades shorts. And then after all that, we will get to fucking chainsaw man which is coming sort of soon. Um, you know, we have a few other series before that, obviously. The proper uh, proper Gintama is coming, as well as the IQ replacement. So there's a few things that'll be before that. But Chainsaw Man is coming after uh, we finish Season 3 of Overlord, and we have two Pleiades videos, one before and one after, that we'll also be checking out. But eventually, eventually... Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to sign out here and uh, call it a day for the second season of Overlord. I hope you guys are enjoying my reactions to Overlord. Uh, the previous video, season two, episode six to ten, uh, did get taken down. And it was restored a few days ago, so it's back up on the channel and everything. You know, I like won the strike, got it back and all that. So uh, we'll see how this video goes on YouTube. I didn't have any issues with uh, season one or season two, episodes one to five. So we'll see if that was kind of just a one-off issue. If it does persist, I might, um, you know, go to the the regular format with uh, for this with the redirects or whatever. But hopefully, I can keep posting these on YouTube to keep things as simple as possible for you guys. But yeah, if you didn't see six to ten, it was probably because it was taken down with a copyright strike. But it is back up at the time this goes up. It's been up for like uh, probably like a week actually. By the time this will go up. Um, something like that at least so it is back up if you just want to check out the overlord playlist all my reactions to season one and season two will be there and hope and depending on when you watch this if you watch this in the future season three and if you watch this way in the future maybe even my reactions to season four and the film um which i'm not gonna be doing anytime soon because i'm waiting for the film <laughs> but anyways uh Without any further ado, I think it's time for me to bid you adieu. If you guys want to check out my Patreon and uh, uh, down below in the description, you can support the channel. In the month of March 2023, there is a uh, series poll going on for um, a future series, anime series. You can check that out if you want, uh, if you're watching this in March 2023. Otherwise, you can just support the channel. Who knows what's going on there, if anything. Um, and I have a Discord server. You want to check that out too and all that fun stuff. Anyways, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. The Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.